Oh, 4, 5, multiplying polynomials by monomials. The objective, you'll never guess. You multiply monomials by monomials. All right, that's what we're doing. Can we do it? Yeah, we can. Let's do it. We've already done it, dude. We've already done it. Remember I told you just a number is a, mon is a monomial? So we're doing it. So we've already done it. Now, what do we do? We distribute it, right? So let's do it again, right? I have four what? Four of these things, right? So I have... Adding this to itself four times, I have four three x's, which is twelve x, and I have four negative sevens, negative twenty eight, right? Or I just distribute. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Now I want I'm distributing the four x through, so I'm doing four x. So here was four times three x. I'm doing four x times three x. I get my twelve x x x squared minus four times three is twenty eight. Don't forget your x stays with it, right? That X kind of trails along. And let's get a little bit more complicated. Might have to drop it on to a few of these guys here. Right? We can still do it. 2X times 7X squared, right? Let's see. 2X times 7X squared is the same thing as 2 times times 7 times X times X, which is 2 times 7 because of commutativity. Commutative property, X times X, so I can write this as 14X cubed. Well, I'm not going to do that every time. I know I multiply the coefficients, then add the exponents. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. x squared y, right? X, 2x is x squared y. And here, x times y is going to be xy. 2 times 3 gives me 6xy. All right? Here we go. Is that on camera? Yeah, it all fits in there, right? Nice. Since we've already done it, we're not really changing too much. Let's go back to using geometry. Um... If I'm going to multiply the area, if I'm going to multiply x by x plus 4, I can think of it as a rectangle, right? Um, and here's my rectangle. It's x long, right, this way, and x plus 4y. So what do you do? You multiply. Remember how we broke that other one up? Same thing. x times x gives me x squared, right? Or, and x times 4 gives me 4x. And I add these two areas, and what do I get? So x times x plus 4 will give it to me. Well, how does this work? Well, suppose I had 3, right? and 4 and 5, right? We know that this is 9, right? And we know 9 times 3 is 27, but suppose I didn't know that. 4 times 3, this area would be 12, and this rectangle, 3 times 5 would be 15. When I add them together, I get my 27. Same thing here. I'm breaking that x plus 4 up, okay? x times x plus 4 is the same thing as x squared minus 4x. So here's another one. 3t times these, I'm distributing it through, right? And I can just think of it as the area of this guy, length times width. 3 times 4 is 12. t times t squared is t cubed. 3 times 5, 15. t times m, mt. Uh, 3 times negative 3, negative 9, t. So the sum of these would be the area, or would be the product of this times that, right? I'm multiplying 3t through. I'm just distributing it through. All right. So let's do this. Let's simplify it. I'm going to distribute this one-half as squared, negative one-half. So let's see. Type, let's look at the coefficients. Negative, half, well, half of four, negative times positive, negative two, right? One-half times four. Four times one is four, over two is two. S squared times S gives me S cubed. Half of three, well, it's just three halves. S squared times X, S squared X. I can't, I don't know what S and squared and X are, so I just write it. It's like I'm saving it for later. Negative times this negative ends up being positive. Half of 6 is 3. S squared times m. S squared m. Do I have any like terms here? None. Can't combine any. Let's do another one here. Negative 2x squared times 4m, I get negative 8. x squared m. Negative 2 times negative 6x. Well, negative 2 times negative 6 gives you my positive 12. x squared times x is x cubed. Negative 2 x squared times 4, well, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, x squared. Now I'm going to distribute through on the other side here. This negative, remember, this is negative 3x, right? This guy goes, these are all, this, is, this term is going through. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, x times x squared is x cubed. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive, that's a negative 1, positive 3x squared. And negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6x squared m, or mx squared. 
Now, am I done? Let's see, do I have any like terms? Well, I have negative 8x squared m. Any x squared m's there? Nope, 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 nope. Ding! So I got negative 8x squared m's and negative 6x squared m's for a total of negative 14x squared m's. What about cubes, x cubes? Yeah, it has one here and one here. 12 and negative 6, so I get 6 left, right? Negative, a positive 12 and negative 6. 6x six cubed and any x squareds? Can negative 8 here and positive 3 here together make negative 5 x squared. Now, if I have enough time, I'll do one more. Yeah, I do. Wow, we went through this one quickly. Oh, I can do two more. Two more crazy ones. All right. Now I'm going to solve some equations using these, this stuff, right? Let's see. I'm going to distribute a half through half of 6 is 3, right? 3c three plus 2, right? Now let's distribute this negative 2 through. I get negative 2c. And negative 2 times 5 halves, the 2's cancel out, right? I get negative 5. Equals 2 thirds of 9 is 6, or I could do 2 times 9 is 18 divided by 3 is 6. Minus 2 times 3 is 6, over 3 is 2. So I can see the 3's cancel out and there's 2 left over. Right? So let's combine like terms over here. 3c minus 2c is c. Positive 2, negative 5, negative 3. 6 minus 2c. I'm going to add 2c to both sides. I get 3c minus 3 equals 6. Add 3 to both sides. So I want to get this c all alone. So I want to bring the c over and get rid of the other stuff. So I'm doing 9 equals 3c. And you can see that c is equal to 3 without even finishing it up. But we're going to go through it. If I plug it back in here, I would find that I had the right answer, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to go through it all. Right now, you know how to check. And finally, one more. If 1 equals, let's distribute this 2x. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. I'm going to subtract all this stuff. So I'm going to rewrite the brackets and take care of everything in and then switch all the signs. There's a lot going on here, so I'm going to go in here first. 5... Now, I have a negative 2x I'm going to distribute through here. I get negative 2x times 1 is negative 2x, and then negative 2x times negative x is positive 2x squared. Now, it says take the opposite of everything inside. So, let's do that. So, this becomes negative 5, positive 2x, negative 2x squared. Well, I have a positive 2x squared. Let's combine like terms. Negative 2x squared. They cancel each other out. Negative 4x and 2x is negative 2x minus 5 equals 1. Add 5 to both sides. End up with 6 equals negative 2x. Divide both sides by negative 2. x equals negative 3. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Whee!